Sal Acasio is renowned as one of the best goalies ever as he was a four-time All-American at UMass. Also, internationally, Lacasio won three gold medals in 1990, 1994, and 1998 World Lacrosse Championship as a member of Team USA. He had a great professional career and won four USCLA championships in the 1990s and was awarded Player of the Year honors in 1995. In 2000, he was elected to the UMass Athletic Hall of Fame, then in 2004, the U.S. National Lacrosse Hall of Fame. In 2008, Lacasio was inducted into the National Lacrosse League Hall of Fame. For over 20 years, Sal Lacasio consistently stopped the best shooters in the world. But not on this day. Not against this shooter. Throws, Darren Muller scooping it back up. Darren was going to come across, finds Keel. Eight seconds left on the man up opportunity. Here's Abbott winding up and scoring. From about 15 yards away on the angle. Abbott gets to the climb, beat Lacasio wide side. Richie, can you see Sal shake his head in frustration after getting smoked by Chrissy Abbs? He is delirious, all right, deliriously unhappy. I thought you knew how to play gold. Can't you see Sal has his knees bent, hands up, forward, shoulders square, his head is up looking at Chris Abbott. Chris is the one moving out of position. The point, just left one crank right past Sal Lacasio. The first shot I've seen this down past Lacasio from outside of 15 yards. Chris Abbott with his second goal this afternoon, the seventh goal of his season and the 40th goal of his career. Richie, why is Sal looking over his right shoulder? The ball went screaming over his left shoulder, next to his ear, upper right corner, bro. What's he looking for, his pet mouse or something? And really a two-part story this afternoon for the Massachusetts Minutemen, Steve Glover. They beat Brown here at Stevenson Field in Providence, 13-8. And with two parts, the University of Massachusetts attack, again very explosive today, and the outstanding freshman goaltender, Sal Lacasio, came up with 20 saves. Yeah, we said it right at the beginning, Sal Lacasio. Uh, coming up with some big saves, more importantly, getting the UMass transition game started. Uh, immediate, uh, immediately after the save, he's got the ball up. And he's Richie, how many delirious goalies do you know who make 20 saves in a game? Really, bro? Spanning the globe to bring you the thrill of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. Kelly Carr with four goals for the Minutemen. This is Perry Seal, nice duck under into the offensive end for Massachusetts. Feeding it back to Abbott, who winds up, low in with the save, gets off the pipe, the rebound, back home. And that was Greg Canella. Uh, hey, Rich, um, you do know that no one gets an assist from a block shot, right? Come on, bro, you can't be serious. Chris Abbott coming down, taking the shot. Scotty Lowen, there he is right there, makes the save, goes off the pipe. Scotty turns around to see where the ball is. Greg Canella just picks it up and throws it in the goal. That yeah, Greg Canella unassisted. Here he comes, Chris Abbott, letting one crank, makes the save. Look, goes off, goes off the pipe. Here's yeah, Scotty Lowen turning around to get to the ball. Greg Canella just take take it to the cage. Jamie Monroe being one of them. They want to spread it out. Have someone on the second line, Jamie Monroe, who can take it to the cage. Yeah, Richie Abbott into the game along with Perry Seal and Cunningham on the midfield. This is Abbott. Good wheels for Abbott. He shoots the save by Lowen. Ball loose out in front. Billy McComas with a nice pickup for Brown. Yeah, both goaltenders been sharp here in the early going. Here's the outlet up ahead for Doug Appleton with the long stick into the box. Feed it to Keo. Keo to Bonanno. He fans on the shot. And Cataldo knocks down uh, the Massachusetts unsuspecting midfielder, Richie Abbott. I got this, I got this. Charlie, clear through so I can take this chump talker to the cage. New York. Richie, come on now, you're from Manhasset. Why'd you dodge straight into two men? You know, you know better than that, son. And, to make it worse, you got stripped by a short stick offensive midi. Ouch!
Rich, this is your uh, brother, Chris. I've got two guest speakers on the phone who you know well, Michael O'Neill and Billy Marino. I don't think they need an introduction for their uh, lacrosse careers, but I think they wanted to say something to us about our birthday as well as this great little video I put together. Michael or Bill? Bill. So I first want to wish you guys a very happy and healthy 50th birthday and many more healthy years. Second, it's no question Rich is a much nicer guy and we like him more. But I do have to acknowledge at the scene the video that Chris has a natural release and has a great shot. I also am impressed with Chris's ability to pose as rich in college <laughs> and actually get as far as he wanted to with women. Now I'm very impressed with that as well. Michael? Um, yeah, just as a former coach of Chris, uh, I'm biased to his abilities as a player versus rich. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Versus most players in, uh, uh, you know, the release, Chris. The release that Chris Abbott had was, it was God-given, uh, Ben Hassett bred, uh, say what you will. But um, for, for, as far as Rich goes, yes, a better guy. I mean, yes, of course he is. Uh, but we all know that going in. But we're talking about prowess on the field right now. Uh, so regarding the 50th, uh, boys uh, celebrate, celebrated greatly in Vegas. And, um, yeah, have a great time. All right, man. Out. Richie, I'm glad we both made it to 50. The opposite of love is indifference. I am not indifferent to you. I just want you to know I've always loved you as if you were my own brother.